How's it going guys? You Ottawa Scotty here. We're up on the roof of my uh, Class A here today. Just doing some uh, roof maintenance, roof repairs. I was up here last night um, sealing some stuff up. And uh, what I have is I have uh, if you're new new to this game <laughs> and you don't know already, uh, this is the stuff that you need to uh, do the roof of your RV. This is also really good here. Um, but, sorry about this, uh, this is a Dicor, give you a good look at this, Dicor uh, art, lap sealant, self-leveling lap sealant. I've got two tubes of it here. I've got a pretty good hookup for this stuff here actually. Um, I get this up at a uh, RV store on M Mont Laurier in Western Quebec. Um, they sell this for, I think it's like 11 bucks a tube, which is very expensive to get this off the internet, like 20, 24 bucks a tube or something like that. And it goes quick. It's fairly, um, it's fairly viscous, so it, um, it's meant to, so that you can put it on and it'll flatten itself out which I'll show you exactly how, how it looks like after you've put it on. Um, and then this, this is what I have been using ProFlex RV Flexible Sealant. This is excellent adhesion. This is what I use on the sides. So anywhere we're on the side of the RV where um, you, you need the, um, the sealant to, to stick a little better, um, I use this. Just if you use this die core on anything but the roof, it'll just run right off. It's kind of runny actually, but um, it takes a couple days to set up. Let me show you. I've done uh, I've done a little repair here last last night. So let's have a look at it. See what that looks like. Um, and I should say that uh, I did this completely wrong. Originally, so this was done last night. You can see, I still put my fingerprint in it. Actually, I should probably probably shouldn't touch it. But, anyways, these parts here uh, were screw holes. These three parts here were screw holes that held my roof rack in, which is all bent up down on the ground there. Who knows? I I'm kind of bummed about that. A tree fell over. We've got a lot of big trees around here. Make me quite nervous, especially this big old girl here. Probably a couple hundred years old. Anyways, I had a branch actually come off of that tree right there and it hit the side of the motorhome. You could see uh, a crack right there. Smucked it pretty hard. Uh, twisted up my roof rack and busted my lights I've got a video on my channel re replacing the uh, tail lights on on my motorhome and that was from the tree branch that busted off so anyways the back of my motorhome here was leaking uh, due to that tree strike so I took it all apart the seal I took the seal entirely off and redid the whole thing and this time, instead of using silicone like I did previously, 10 years ago, which this must have been pretty high quality silicone because it's uh, done the job pretty good. Um, this is definitely what you, what you shouldn't do is use silicone like that. But of course my ladder is all busted up too. That's why it's Busted off because of the tree. I've got a brand new ladder for this motorhome too that I'll be putting on. But anyways, this is how I originally did this about 10 years ago. And honestly, you, you, you shouldn't do it this way. I don't know how, but the moisture is still able to get in. These are still holding fairly good. Uh, like I said, this is this must have been pretty good quality silicone, and uh, it's worked pretty good. I might actually just leave that on for one more win winter. But what you should use is this stuff here. The die core is the proper proper stuff to use. So I've got it in between the, the two fab fiberglass joints here, underneath the seal and over all of the fasteners here. I've actually used roofing screws 
uh, with their little rubber washers just to make sure that it seals on this side. So that's going to be nice and watertight. So that's kind of the way that looks. I'll show you the side too, how that turned out with the, with the other stuff. Anyways, it's good stuff, that Dicor. Easy to put on and um, I do have another small leak coming from somewhere around here and I think it must must be coming from either around the fridge vent or something but so I'm gonna redo the die core around here today around this roof vent old school roof vent high quality I don't know the new stuff that just you put them on and, and a year later they're all cracked up from the sun. I don't know. RV parts are not very not very high quality anymore. Anyways, I'm gonna wire brush this. And yeah, yeah, this needs to be redone for sure. I'm just gonna wire brush around this here and yeah, it's probably coming in from right there. Yeah, I had to guess. Let's see, it might be coming in from, from around there. That's, uh, so, we'll redo that. Okay, and we'll redo, see some cracking. This is the original manufacturer uh, would have put this die core on so shows you how, how long this stuff this the, shows you how long this stuff lasts I mean this motorhome is 1989 so it's uh, stuff's been on there for quite some time and it's still in pretty good shape so so yeah well uh, let's redo that today and I'll show you how that stuff comes out there So you can see why they call it self-leveling. It just kind of flattens itself out. And uh, though it doesn't look too good when you put it on, it just it flattens itself out and looks decent as it... Uh... I just did a quick job there. Cause I'm not, I'm not sure that that's where the leak is coming from. But uh, we'll see, we'll see if there's, there's leak coming in through the bathroom. So if it, uh, comes in anymore it's a very small leak but it's supposed to rain tomorrow so that's the big the big test here uh, we'll see I think this is gonna be really really good I'm excited to see that to see if the back still leaks anymore which I'm sure it, it doesn't like I said it's a small leak but you want to get catch those right right away obviously basically one of the Worst things that can happen to your your motorhome is have water coming into it and basically just destroy it. Anyways, so yeah, that's just a real quick video there. Uh, definitely, silicone definitely doesn't work as as well as the Dicor. Dicor is is great stuff. It's it's made for sealing RV roofs. So. Definitely use that. Um, don't do like I did because you're just gonna get get a leak again eventually. Okay guys, on this side, uh, well, on the side of the RV, we're not gonna use the die core, we're gonna use this uh, ProFlex RV. Flexible sealant, developed for recreational vehicles from the RV capital of the world. RV capital of the world. I wonder what that is. Anyways, uh, ProFlex RV. So I've already used this actually. I've already used an entire tube of this on the 
on the uh, the other side and um, oh, actually, actually have a look at how that turned out. So this is the other side. Uh, keep in mind guys, this is an RV is from 1989. So a lot of these screws are stripped out and not in very good shape. And I did this in the dark, so last night, but it's not, it's not super pretty, but um, I've had to put some more screws into, into some places just because you know, the wood's not in super good shape behind there. But uh, it's sealed up and uh, won't leak. And that's the, the main the main issue here. I wish it, I wish I could have make that look a bit better, but uh, it is what it is. It's a old motor home, so I don't care. As long as it does not leak, it's the only thing I care about at this point. But uh, this stuff is good. It's kind of like you can use it like regular silicone, but it's for RVs. So yeah, it's, this is good stuff. So and then I've, I've put that in between the uh, the joint because I said I, I had these seals completely off, cleaned everything up, and the, I put that stuff in between the joints of these two pieces of fiberglass too. So there's no way this this is gonna leak. So even in areas like this, um, there's there's silicone or that RV sealant in between the two pieces of fiberglass. And then this is screwed over top, and I'm gonna seal over top of this. This side of the motorhome has been uh, beat up pretty bad. Uh, I think the previous owner had hit something, and then they tried to straighten the bumper out. And this one, I bought the RV. This was all torn torn up to torn up here so I had to straighten that out and this is the best I could get it so anyways like I said um, and also these tail lamps and lenses are all brand new just the sides here are brand new they were all smashed by Mr. Tree Mr. Tree took a pr pretty big uh, swing at the side of my motorhome here so those have already been replaced there's another video on my channel about replacing those but let's uh let's run a run a bead here of that stuff and see how she looks so i gotta redo a bunch of stuff up up front here too but uh, i've got a bunch of other stuff i gotta get to this motorhome today so stick around and thanks for uh thanks for stopping by the channel really appreciate it and uh, see you soon.